Hey everyone and welcome back to Remember This Tech. Today I'm going to be checking out another small SBC and this time it's going to be the Redaxa 03W. It comes in a little box, comes in a little plastic case and it's wrapped in some anti-static bag. Well, let me go over some specs here really quick. It's got a quad core ARM Cortex A55. Uh, CPU clocked in at 1.6 gigahertz. Uh, ARM Mali G52 2EE GPU, which is a step above the G31s and 32s that normally come as a base uh, graphics processor in these systems. Uh, DDR4 RAM with this model here is 2 gig. It has display via micro HDMI. So typically if you have a Raspberry Pi 5, it has a micro, so it should work. It has an onboard eMMC storage, 16 gig, and it has it features Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.4, USB 2.0 uh, Type-C port for data and power. It also has one USB uh, host Type-C port. Uh, has a micro SD card slot for storage expansion and you can use that for booting as well, booting your OS, loading it, etc. So I'll pop this open and you know there's not really much that comes with this but I do like that they gave you a little case so that if you're not using it you can kind of put it away and protect it. If you've seen the last video, me checking out the Orange Pi Zero 2W and if you haven't you can check it out in the link above. But this is a similar spec here. But this one comes with the pin header already attached. So if you're someone who's not adept with soldering, well, that may be something for you. It's a similar layout with the chips, memory chip, processor, graphics. And you'll see that um, over here is the HDMI, the micro, and your two USB-Cs. And on the back side, you will see um, a couple more chips, and you'll have this header here, right? Right here is the micro SD slot. It doesn't go very deep. You'd think it'd be a little bit more deep so it can hold the memory card, but it is what it is. Uh, th their website was even worse to navigate than Orange Pies wa were for the images. I had to pull some down from GitHub. And for this Redaxa 03W, I'm going to be testing out Debian today, the Debian distro from Redaxa, and see how that performs, see how it runs. And maybe in a later video, I'll revisit this and I'll test out another OS, maybe Armbian, because a lot of people like that. As to not make the video too long, we're just going to stick to Debian and see how that works. So. What could you use this for? Well, you could set up maybe a pie hole server, do a headless unit, you could do various projects, maybe a tiny mini computer for monitoring with a um, security system with a little camera. So without further ado, I'm gonna dive right into it and see if we can get one of the images working and load it onto the system. All right, this is exciting. See what we can get working. Come on, let's go. Let's see if we can get this thing to boot, shall we? Let's plug it in using my Official Raspberry Pi power supply. Looks like we got something here. Looks like it's got the direct video out. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Ooh, okay. This is Debian, everyone. Debian. Let's see if we can get the capture to work once I log in. Oh, it looks pretty good, right? I and mean, that's a plus. I mean, you just got to test it now. How snappy it is, what can and can't do. Let me uh, get internet connected to log in and go from there. All right, we're back. Here we have our initial login screen of the Redaxa Debian edition. If you're looking for the password, going to be your account will be a Redaxa and the same thing for the password, Redaxa. I hit enter and that should be your login. So I had to look for it, just a hint. So let me get back to setting this up. So the first thing you wanna do probably is to change your password when you get in here. So if you wanna do that, type in uh, sudo password root put in the original redaxa password and then go from there ideally you don't want to be using root uh, unless you have to but let's take a look at the system now shall we down here you've got application finder web browser 
and your file manager terminal. The date obviously is off. So further on your desktop, you have file system, your home folder, trash. And we have terminal and another, another instance, you know, to get file manager, mail reader, web browser your settings so from your settings change your windows manager your workspaces screensaver file manager settings clipboard desktop depends on how you want to set it up for right now let's look at the display weird display resolution i want to just go with a native 1080p let's see if we can handle this 60 hertz apply so far Things are looking okay. It looks like it's in spec here. I wanna keep this configuration. We're not gonna go anything above 1080p. That worked, so that's that's the first step. Let's go back to where we were. We were in settings. All right, now that we set the display, we got power manager, your mouse, removable media, Bluetooth adapters. Oh, this looks cool. Now, one thing I couldn't do on my Orange Pi Zero 2W is that I couldn't set up a wireless keyboard Bluetooth. I have a couple here that I want to try, um, just generic ones. And up here is your Bluetooth is enabled. Let me see if we can't uh, set up a new device and then let's see if I can actually get it to work. I'm going to turn on the wireless keyboard. It kind of guides you through it. Oh, let's use the keyboard. Everyone, it sees the keyboard, the generic keyboard. Will it work? Pair device. Failed. All right, so this generic keyboard doesn't work. It's either like user error or something else, but or the generic stupid keyboards don't work well with Linux, and I've read that that's the case. So let's carry on, shall we? Screensaver. I think slow. I don't like these. All right, that looks pretty cool. I don't know. Close. And there's the flying mouse screensaver that I set up. It's working. Looks okay. A little weird, but yeah, it works. <laughs> All right, so by default, we have Chromium and Firefox ESR. Multimedia, Parole, Multimedia, and Pulse Volume Control. On our other system, we had a problem with the volume. Um, but, <laughs> believe it or not, this might work. It might, because this shows the HDMI display port here. This is stereo volume, right? All right, so, that might work, that's for output. If you just uh, set your system up, it's probably a good idea to do a, a sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade for your system to make sure you got all the uh, up-to-date software, get some drivers before you go and test it, you know, just a hint, tip. Let's try the Chromium browser and see if we get better performance. We're just going to go to MSN, uh, check some news. And keep in mind, this is not meant to be a desktop computer. Yeah, let's see. It's resolving, albeit a little bit slow. Let's see how YouTube does. What can we do for videos and playback? Typing doesn't seem too delayed, I guess. All right, so Welcome back to remember this tab. 480p. In the year 2000. The year 2000 I think 480p really nice. The aluminum PC case I mean, started to take off. 
obviously you're probably going to be playing or using this device on a smaller screen anyway so 480p might look okay and this one i picked up as a trade for our, some stuff around the house i had some cut wood and some guy had no computer and i was like well, what, what do you got a 720p in our cards everyone it is it's looking good and like is it a leanne lee and he's like 720p everyone a little bit of dropped frames but you know what this ain't looking too bad cleaned it up trying to restore it a bit hence the gloves and maybe there's workable board in here all right well 1080p could it be can it happen or did i just push our luck didn't come with it. This so is it 1080p little, um, in a windowed mode. IO, Roswell here, uh, front um, and there's and no drop frames. And we're gonna do a complete white Chromium browser and seems to be happy with this unit. There. And if it doesn't, and all the updates I did helped as well. 1080p on this little Redaxa 03W. This is so sweet. Oh, there's some drop frames. Let's pause it. Let's go full screen and see how bad it does or doesn't. All right, fingers crossed. All right, drop frames, yeah. Caught up a little bit. And good stuff. This has not been cleaned, obviously. And these bays. So we're going full screen with 1080p. Minimal drop frames. This is outstanding. Wow. Debian on this little Bradaxa. Amazing. All right, I'll stop gushing. This is a win. Chromium. Working great. This one here. Let's just say that is a win. Let's see how this fares with Chromium again and find out if we are spiking in temperature. I should have done that in the beginning, but the video we just watched again from my page and monitor the temperature over here on the right. Now let's find out what we have for systems, um, memory and stuff use, usage. So we're still under a gig, so let's let's play this video. And screw it from the case chassis. Just let it catch up a second. Put in your power supply that way. Sometimes it was hard to get a power supply in. And All right, 720p we're running. This way. And. And that's the same with this one. Looks like yeah, using half of our memory. But it looks good. There's like Windowed mode, so so let's do sensors again here. And we'll so we're holding steady at 73 and 70, so not horrible. Critical is set to 115C, so we don't have to worry about that too much. I installed two passive heat sinks on this. One's on the memory, the RAM, and one is on the CPU. And it's doing okay for the uh, heat, but it is getting a little bit hot. But not bad, right? Not bad. So, my final thoughts on this Redaxa 03W board, this 0SBC. Well, at first I didn't have high hopes, but once I got into it, did some updates, I was able to run 720p YouTube, even 1080p YouTube without big significant drop in frames, which was really surprising and really good playback. I uh, felt pretty snappy. Even with the two gig of RAM, I never approached the upper limit of usage. The Debian Linux distro that was provided was fairly feature filled, had a lot of different apps. You can add more. Uh, it felt very snappy and responsive, even running off of the micro SD card. And even though this little SBC isn't technically made to be a desktop unit. The fact that they have these desktop OS's and these distros work perfectly. You could use it for a, a myriad of 
different uses from a security system with the camera, low power system, you know, or you can make it into a, a little mini system, low power that you could run off a battery or, you know, maybe convert to a handheld device, maybe an emulator of some sort for low, low end ROMs. You've got pretty much endless possibilities and the, you can get a four gig model, but they seem to be pretty, well, sparse when I look for them. And this model was $32 shipped for the two gig model. And I've seen them dip down to around 26, 27, 31 now for um, the two gig model Amazon. And I'll put the link in the description below in case you're interested. Overall, this Redaxa board was pretty impressive if you ask me. You're not gonna go into this expecting to game on it because that's not what it's made for. But playing 1080p and 720p YouTube videos and just general, you know, web browsing and general tasks on it, on it, it performed admirably. And what more can you expect? So thanks for coming along with me in this journey, checking out this small new SBC by Redaxa. And thanks for watching. Remember this tech.